everybody. Welcome to Sketch Club. My name is Jason Meyer. It looks like we've got a full house tonight. I love it, I love it, I love it. Miss Claudia. Got the coast handled. Susan. Taking care of the inland. Taking care of the inland. Good to see everybody. Shakti and Ellie are here. So good to see you guys. Jenny. Good to see your face. I know you were traveling a lot and having to watch the Zooms. More and more people are traveling. Things are a changing. And Mr. Tom, Mr. Tom, the guy who pushed me down the hill. The guy that pushed me down the hill into the video, uh, whatever this is we're in, into the spaceship business. So welcome everybody. Tonight we're going to do our entire 30 minutes on the sunflowers that we started. And what I'm going to do is do a, a pretty quick review of what we talked about on Sunday. And then we're just going to look at how we're going to carry this forward. One of the reasons I've switched gears a little bit is I, I want everybody to get in and get comfortable and know that anybody can do this. but. After you get comfortable, hey, what's going on? What really makes these things pop and have pizzazz? Tom, yeah, Tom got us rolling. Tom got us rolling. The producer extraordinaire, maybe we should call him. Executive producer, Tom. EP Tom. <laughs> All right, so we ready to go, guys? Why don't we just have a look at what we have? So we talked about approaching this very simply. So if we had a circle facing straight on or a sphere, if we want to turn it, we talked about how it goes into an ellipse. And by showing the tip of that ellipse, we could turn it into all sorts of directions. Then we talked about what kind of poetic shorthand we could use. Poetic shorthand. So instead of going all the way around, I could say, well, we've got this side, and that's close. And then we've got this side, which is far. And so then we can start implying right, leave things open so we can get in and out. Okay, so that was the basis on which we were building our one, two, three sunflowers kind of tumbling through space here. And then we discussed how then the petals from the center of the sunflower are just another sort of ring. But pretending, depending on how it's turned, if this was close to us, just by the angle we may see very little of these and a lot more of those. So it might be a little off-center, right? If we were calling these the general petals, like that. And we were just about to talk about how this corner is closest to us. This is going back. This is going back, and then we've got a corner here, and then that's going back even sharper. So part of showing all of these things is showing that overall turn around into space. But we don't want it to be a lot of work, do we? Right? I mean. Did we get 
to be artists because we wanted to do the most work we possibly could. Well, we don't want to avoid work, but we don't want to overwork ourselves. So, with our shorthand and our preliminary drawing here, let's see how this is all going to look. So in this section right here, we've got light on this flower, on these petals. We talked about how we'd like this light to actually start trickling down a couple of these petals here and pick up and spin off here. We're going to tiptoe across a couple of these before we start spinning down this way. And then these we're going to tiptoe across there. So the movement of the light. Something like that. Okay, so after we do our analysis and we get it in there, What's really going to make this spectacular is if we give a clear movement that the viewer can follow. And then if we can make that interesting to boot, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, now we're talking, now we're talking. So let's start with suggesting some of our light. And again, these are the little short, so this is not going to be as big. And then we're going to tiptoe across the edge of some of these as we let this build just a little bit here before we let some of these woo wee zoo go across there a little bit. That was fun, huh? Was that fun? It's fun for me. It's fun for me. Okay, so how do we show light? Well, one way is we can hold it with darks. So that's where the inside turns under. There's a little gap. So this will be the space between the flowers. All right, I'm just going to kind of let this be a negative space that we really lock into. And then we might kind of let go, get a little softer and weaker out this way. But let's really lock down right into here. Let's lock that thing up a little bit. I'm saying locked up, but that's going to give you the structure where this whole thing holds together. And yeah, in the reference, the light continues up there, but remember, I want to give the viewer a moving experience. Not a cow experience, but move their eye. So look, I can get that stability of the sunflower with the interior of it. And then once I've got the st stability here, well, then I can let these things fly and play and do everything they want to do. All right, let's that open up a little bit. Then as we get on this side, now again, this has got to be an ellipse. Let's not make it a circle. Then these flowers are in shadow, petals are in shadow. They're longer than our other, than this side here. So 
So we do shadow flat. Okay, we're starting to build our little sunflower. And then inside we've got another Something's happening. Something's happening. What's happening? You guys okay? Am I being a rude host? Am I okay to draw? Do I need to tell you what I'm doing? Or are you guys okay just to watch for a little while? I don't want to be a rude live streamer. But some of this takes some concentration and this is what it's all about. This is the fun stuff, man. It's the fun stuff here. I don't want to miss out on that. Okay, so, kinda. I shake a little, uh, little, uh. But let's be loving and forgiving. Let's take it easy on ourselves here. Give us a chance. Did we talk about something like that? And then what are we going to do from here? Yes. All right, you see it's the same principle. Okay, when we got here, we were turning this way. Talked about Skipping over a few of these. Okay, then let's jump to this next flower and woo, let it kind of 
shoot us around, slow down. You know, once I have the out, look how kind of abstract I can start these other flowers. And we're going from near to far, far, far as we go back here. So let's go ahead and kind of just dot, 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 let that go. Okay, maybe off into the distance. Off into something. Seems like the distance is a good thing just to go off into. I don't know. I don't know. Isn't that how the saying goes? All right, so we've got this, and then we're going to come back and let's get that dark inside. That dark inside to let us know what's happening. What's happening? So we're pretty tight over here, and this is close to us. We're going to be paint just slightly down, turn the corner. So something like that. Is it going to be more interesting if I make these centers different sizes? You betcha. You betcha. So if it makes it more interesting, let's do it. Right? We don't want to be a bore. Let's not be a bore. You can't be an artist and be a bore. Let's be exciting and dynamic. Well, in our marks anyway. In our marks anyway. Don't have to go doing anything crazy. Just give us some good marks. So if we're going to have something dancing, we need a dance floor or something to dance around. So it's like these centers can almost be sort of maypoles that they swing in and swing around and swing over and come back. And by instead of doing the same thing over and over and over, they lean this way and shoot up and slowly and then fall and then trickle. That, that'll be the kind of visual variety that um that excites people. That looks good. That looks good. Because it really is... It's more about feeling good, and but it, it starts with the idea of looking good, right? That, that feeling comes from the visual... Right, this is how they're interacting with this is visually. Right, they're not tasting it. They're not listening to it. It's a visual thing. Can you see what the artist is drawing? Okay, how are we doing? You guys are quiet. I think that means you're busy. I like that. I like that. And then let's get a good negative shape in here somewhere where we can lock things in. All right, just say, hey, hey. 
And let's see, look at that, that's cool. A nice dark of that center right there. That leaf goes in and that goes on the other side. Oh, nice. That's so, Ooh, that's like, down like that. Down like that, are you down with it? Wow, look how down that is. All right, look how dynamically different and each one of those are. Right, that, that's gonna make for a good, well, that's got the ingredients for an exciting composition. All right, try to get all those shapes different. all gonna be dark let's see we're leaning through here so make sure that all right don't forget your ellipses don't let them turn into circles don't let them get all out of whack this one this way and that all right make sure they make sense they're part of the same, right? This outside should be a little bit similar to that. They may have to be exactly the same, but right? They, they should say this is pointing this way. It's facing up, it's turning this way. That's the kind of things you want those centers to say. Right? You don't want the people to have to kind of figure out, well, this is saying that, and this is saying, this is saying something else. So what is it? Right, you want them to just get it. We're just trying to get them to get, just get it. Okay, let's just turn in. We got here what do we got Almost forgot I had an audience there. Everybody still okay? I'm gonna get lost in this too. As it gets better and better, it gets less and less of a social activity. Less and less, but that's okay, that's all right. Here we go, here we go. Looks like somebody's giving a little love, so somebody doesn't mind. As long as there's somebody that doesn't mind. That's all I need, just a little bit. How are we doing? How are we doing? Hard to chat and sketch. Yep, good, good, good. No, don't put down those pencils for that typewriter. You guys sketch, 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 sketch. Sketch, 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 sketch. So we're gonna be coming to the close here in just the next couple of minutes. 
Um, we will continue this at tomorrow's night sketch club. See if we can't kind of bring this to a quote unquote some little bit more of a finish. Enhance our movement through here. Kind of see how dynamic we can get this thing. So before we leave tonight, what I'm going to do is I'm going to simplify my pieces down so I can see them nice and cleanly tomorrow. And I don't have to wonder, All right? We just want to be able to see it. Let's just see it. Make sure everything reads, and if something's not making sense, maybe we can figure out, hey, what's going on here? Why is that acting like that? Why are you acting like that? <laughs> oh, I'm glad you guys are having a good time. Again, if we can loosen up with the results of like how it looks, I mean, this, this is all right. It's not looking spectacular right now, but man, I'm having a lot of fun. And now we've got something. Let's come in and kind of sculpt. Let's pull our lights. Let's vague out some places. We can maybe focus in them in other places. Right, but that's the game, that's the game. Don't worry about it always being beautiful. Try to kind of get lost in what you're doing, but have an overall guide other than matching, right? See if you can't have a thought about how you like to travel across this canvas. <clears throat> and then just see how interesting you can make that journey for the, for the viewer, for yourself, right? You're the primary viewer. You're going to be looking at this more than anybody else ever will. So make it an enjoyable journey experience visually for yourself. And if it is, then chances are somebody else is going to like it too. All right, everybody. You guys are just so awesome. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And uh, we'll be back in the morning for another mix along on Morning Jump Start on YouTube. Then tomorrow night, we'll be right back here for our third and final night this week on this uh, sketch. This is the final week of our class for this month. Then we'll have one more class in July before we start begin our three-month format. So <clears throat> if there was something we did along the way in this last year, let us know if you'd like to see that return. Um, or if there's some things you've liked how they evolved, we'd love to hear, hear about that as we're fine-tuning this three-month course and we're going to try to incorporate everything we learned and did this year. All right, everybody. Much love to all of you. Bye-bye. <laughs>